Hello, my name is Sophie and I'm a designer working in a Silicon Valley startup. Figma is the magical tool that most product, digital, UI, UX designers use these days. And here are five tricks that left me absolutely freaking speechless. And quite frankly, stopped using Adobe. First trick is especially for when you're trying to test out designs really quick. Copy and paste style. So let's say I have this button right here that I've carefully crafted with beautiful shadows and gradient and it takes me a while to adjust that, right? So, and I have this shape here and I wanna match the exact style. Rather than having to go back and forth and twist the gradient again, all you have to do is come to this button, come on, option C, go to the other one, come on, option V. Bam! Oh my God, my mind was blown. And the next tip is to help you create better components. So let's say I have two buttons over here and I cannot decide if I wanna add an icon there or not, or maybe I'm just simply adding a new button to my design system. So there's actually one small simple trick that you can add to this button to make your icon on or off which is called the Boolean property. All you have to do is select these two buttons that I've created here, go up here where you can see create multiple components, click on that button on the right here, combine as variants. Now you will see that there's this property thingy on the right side here. Click on this first one, rename the, actually click on both of them, Rename the property to icon because you want to toggle the icon. Next, you can come on to just click one button and then right here, you can see that there is the icon, right? So that means it's true. Name it true. The other one is false. So now let's say you want to copy and paste that button onto somewhere else in your design, copy and paste it. On the right hand side here, you can see icon. Look at that magic. Just remember, you should rename your component as well. Use auto layout. How cool is this? This next one, I literally spent the longest time trying to draw these ugly circles because I wanted to make a progress bar circle thing, or I just wanna make some fun circle shapes, right? And I was like, how the hell do people get that cool, perfect circle? And then after figuring out, I finally realized that I was dumb. So this is the simplest thing in the world. You just click the circle icon on the top left and then shift obviously so that your circle is beautiful, perfect proportions. And then click on here and you'll see this little circle right here. It says arc, click on it, drag. <gasps> Look at that beauty. And then here in the center, you'll see another dot. Click on that ratio, drag. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. What a beauty. Like, Look at this thing. All right, and now you can add all of the beautiful gradients your heart desires. My goodness. Bravo. It literally took five seconds. Yeah, Figma is the most amazing thing. Next up, I have a bunch of objects, shapes, and I have this middle one that I just wanna rearrange. So, how do I rearrange it in like five seconds without compromising all of the annoying orders and stuff? Okay, so what you wanna do is turn your shapes into auto layout. So you just select all of this and right click, add auto layout or shift A. And then click your shape that you wanna move around and then move it with the arrows on your keyboard. Look at how fun this is. Ah! And 
And if you used my previous Boolean property, you can toggle the icons on and off. Figma is so fun. Like I'm actually addicted to Figma. If you need to show people your files and maybe you wanna make yourself not look like a messy piece of shit, then what you do is, let's say you wanna rename all of your layers to make them look tidier or maybe helpful to the engineers. You select all of the layers that you want to change, command all, and you can rename all of your layers all together. Best part is you can even number them. So let's say I wanna change this to P, P, button. And we wanna reorganize this and rename. Look at the left here. <gasps> Beautiful, all of our hee hee buttons. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed all of these quick tips and this is why I love Figma. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to check out all of my other design related videos and I'll see you next time. Bye.